about Johnson & Johnson. Scientists acknowledge we know less about that vaccine than those from Pfizer or Moderna. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why. There is plenty of real world data on how well two doses of the Pfizer vaccine work against Delta. We have studies from at least four countries that examined infections and found Pfizer's effectiveness is somewhere between 88 and 64%. But we are lacking that direct evidence for J&J. So. Dr. Shane Crotty of the La Jolla Institute for Immunology says there are two reasons we know less about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which uses different technology than the shots from Pfizer and Moderna. That vaccine was approved later than the RNA vaccine, so it just not as much time. And two, just not as many people have gotten that vaccine. In the U.S., more than 145 million people have gotten either the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, compared to just 12 million who have gotten J&J. &J. That means there are fewer people who can be enrolled in studies. But in the absence of hard data, Dr. Crotty says there is a way scientists can estimate J&J's effectiveness against Delta. You have to go back to the company's clinical trials in South Africa. Back then, they had the most concerning variant in the world, what we now call beta, and J&J &J was 64% effective against it. From there, scientists can look at blood samples. The simplest experiments are to take uh, uh, antibodies from people who've been vaccinated and mix those antibodies in a lab experiment with, with Delta virus and ask if the antibodies stop Delta virus compared to the original virus. Last week, J&J &J released data showing the antibodies in vaccinated people were better against Delta than they were against Beta, and better against Delta than the variant first found in Brazil. In Brazil, J&J &J was found to be 68% effective. That's the game of connect the dots that's being that's being played. The J&J the &J vaccine is going to still be effective against the Delta variant. Then there's the question of how long the J&J &J shot will last. Researchers at the La Jolla Institute are currently studying all the major COVID vaccines to see how they stack up. But Dr. Crotty says most of their study volunteers who got J&J &J were vaccinated in April or May, meaning they only have a few months of data to work with. It's plausible that people who got the J&J &J vaccine will need a booster earlier than, than the RNA vaccines. It's also possible it's the opposite. He says the vaccine technology and the J&J &J shot has been around longer. It's been used in experimental vaccines against Ebola and HIV. And in those cases, protection lasted a year or more. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Johnson & Johnson says the first people vaccinated in its COVID trials are still showing a strong immune response, meaning the shot lasts at least eight months and counting.